Hey y'all, it's Shark Strapper. Just picked up some stuff from uh, one of my clients. <clears throat> the batteries were the, uh, you know, the real thing, but he said, hey, I got this uh, treadmill that uh, has died. Can you take that? So we're gonna get this treadmill. And I thought, you know what? It's been a long time since I've done a treadmill. So why not go ahead and break this down? I need to get ready for a non-ferrous run tomorrow. So I wanna get that motor out anyway. Uh, so come on, let's dive in and get the motor and whatever else we can find out of this treadmill. All right, first things first, gloves on. That's the first thing, get the gloves on. But <clears throat> the next first thing is <clears throat> the control panel. I'm not really expecting a whole lot out of this. Some, there'll be some kind of, more, probably just a low grade, maybe a mid grade with tactile switches. So let's see here. Let's see what we can get. These brackets are holding down this arm part. Get that off the plastic. So that could go with the shred. <clears throat> and then we have two little controller switches here. So these are the buttons to uh, either slow the machine up speed or change the angle of attack. Angle of the dangle. And that's just gonna be shred now. Somebody hanging up over here. Let's see who's hanging up over here. Not you. Might be you. Doesn't matter. We'll just break it. All right, so green on this side of the board, so they're at least mid grade for boardsort.com. our wire plastic trash bunch of little screws <clears throat> so the guy that <clears throat> I picked this up from he said this he thinks he only paid three hundred dollars for this machine new so, I don't expect this to be of terribly good quality. Just some tactile switches, so even though that's green, 
I can't justify throwing that into mid-grade boards. That's just, that's low grade. I know I could probably get away with putting it in with mid-grade for board sort, but come on, there's nothing there. I know some of you say, well, who cares, right? Get what you can. Well, I, I like to be fair with my yards because they need to make money too. And I know if I'm fair with them, um, at least the people I do business with, if I'm fair with them, they're fair with me. All right, so here again, just a bunch of tactile switches. So I'm chucking that in with my low grades. This board is going to be interesting. There. Other than the fact that it's got a bazillion screws on it. Good golly, Miss Mama. What is up with all the screws? All right, so LCD screen. I don't have any buyers for these, um, and I can't find any. And I've been doing a lot of research that says that a lot of people are having, a lot of other people are having trouble. So, going in the trash. But this board is interesting because we have visible gold. So if you look at it, it's green on both sides. So you would say at least mid-grade, but we have visible gold. Visible gold is the normal criteria to say, well, it's probably a peripheral board. And if we look, we see that there's a lot of components and not a bunch of junk. So yes, it's a peripheral, and it's a borderline peripheral high grade. It has quite a few uh, IC type components, flat packs, some tantalums. Um, there's gonna be a, a, a IC circuit underneath of that dollop there. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in with my peripheral high grades. I'm pleasantly surprised. And this goes in with the trash. Let's get these screws off of there. Might as well get them if we can. We did a lot of work to get those screws. All right, these are the arms so they can go in the shred or on the deck. Get in there. Now then. Let's see what we got going here. Motor's going to be up there at that end. And this is what my friend Paul likes to call a pinchomatic. I don't know what number he would give it. Uh, let's see if we can get this out of the way, get these off here real quick. You know what? Let's take off this plate. I want to check and make sure there isn't some sort of... That might be a bolt with a nut or some sort of retaining ring so that it turns. So let's see if we can see what the other end looks like. you weird screws well my GoPro overheated again of course I gotta admit it's 92 degrees so I kind of overheating too but anyway I had to shift to my GoPro 9 
and you missed the part where I took the plastic sheet off of this. Before we resort to the nut bucket, let's see. I may be I may be good to go right here. I'm hoping these were this was a kit that I had put together when I was there we go. So this was a kit that I put together when I had the cell phone tower company next to me. And these were all of the sockets that I needed for the different size uh, nuts and bolts and things that uh, that they had in their gear. Really? Hmm. Isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting? Those are some very tight uh, bolts there. We're going to have to get creative. Okay, so we had to go to the Black & Decker socket set and uh, get our little ratchet. Let's see if we can... Ah, there we go. Now we got some oomphy on it. Got a little bit of torque. Had more torque than my driver. Maya. There we go. When I get it, I had the plate at an angle, and so it was jamming it in there. So, all right, here's our motor, and we'll take this plate off of the motor. Do that real quick while I got the big boy tools out. Of course, that's not the right size. Of course. All right, I'm gonna put you back in there. And then, there we are. What's your major malfunction, bud? Your friend is fine with coming out. Why don't you want to? Did I get the size wrong? Nope. That's the right size. Uh, let's try something. That works. So, 
these nuts are actually uh, metric. And my imperial nut uh, was just not grabbing properly. That happens. That's why I like these. Now, this is a Black & Decker set. My DeWalt is the same way. It has a combination of metric and imperial. Okay. Now then. And there's our motor. Ooh. So, nice big motor to go to the non-ferrous yard. All right, everybody, it's starting to get warm in the shark cage, as you can see. Now, I don't normally scrap treadmills because I usually find them on the street. And when I'm street scrapping, I'm really close to the yard that pays really well for shred. So I usually just chuck it there. Uh, it's been a long time since I've scrapped out a treadmill. So I thought, you know what? I'm not out street scrapping today. I should go ahead and uh, do a video on the treadmills for those of you that are either new to the channel or haven't seen one of these yet. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and check out the links that are taking you to more of my scrapping videos. The uh, round icon in the middle, <laughs> that's to help you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. Have a great day.